Hey everybody. So first of all, I'd like to give my wishes for 2016. And second of all, I would like to do a follow-up to my Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Limited Edition unboxing. So initially in the video, I didn't include the whole the CD, the soundtrack. Um, but now I'd like to get back into it. And I'd actually like to show it off and give my thoughts on the CD itself. So, um, naturally, it comes in this really, really good... Oh, that's me. Hey, what's up? Uh, you know, it comes in this really, really good CD case. It, look, it looks really nice. I mean, if, um, if you have any friends or relatives who have never heard of Ace Attorney before and you decide to, like, show them the CD, well, you can show them this. It's pretty good. Um, over the end, on the inside, there is the Blue Badger. Um, it looks really good. Um, and I'm guessing those are the different tracks. We got Music 1, Music 2, blah blah blah. Um, besides that, there's not really that much inside. Um, again, as I said before in the original review of the limited edition, which I did give a perfect score, but I'd like to like, change that up a little bit after more consideration, right? Because initially, right, giving it a 10 out of 10 would have to be that you're getting bang for your buck. Um, I got it for 15 euro. And essentially it is that, although only problem is, giving it a 10 out of 10 was not really like the perfect thing to do for an Ace Attorney fan. Um, for the other limited editions that I've seen, uh, it seems like you're getting way more than what you're getting in the first Ace Attorney game. So, for example, in um, the latest game, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies, well, not really the latest game, but the latest game to come out in the West, and the latest game to have limited edition, that, over in, in Japan anyway, the limited edition got a statue of Phoenix, and it also got a case for your 3DS. So, there's there's so much more in that, even though you're you're paying, essentially, you know, for a limited edition. For this one, it's kind of limited. Limited edition. <laughs> um, you're not really getting that much. It does go for bang for your buck, but not everything is perfect. So I need to change that score, I think. So this is, the CD itself is really simple. There's nothing really on the back. Um, so it's, it's very clear. Um, and so I decided to boot up the CD just before. And yes, it is officially 2016. So again, uh, happy 2016 to everyone. So let's take a listen. There's 10 tracks overall in the CD. Um, and I don't exactly know the Japanese, so if anyone knows, feel free to take a look, like pause that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just like the different tracks anyway in the titles, if you were to translate them in Japanese. Uh, so let's uh, take a listen to the first one. Um, and yes, it is the regular investigation theme. It's really nice. It's one of my favorite tracks in the game in the first place. So I'm glad it's there anyway. Um, so that's the first track. Uh, the second track is Coroner. Um, which again is one of my favorite themes. One of the classic themes of the Ace Attorney series. Always comes back every year with a new rendition. It's good that it's in here, at least. The third theme is the objection theme, as you can tell from the 2001 that's blatantly posted there. So it's pretty good that they included that in as well. Well, they really have to. I mean, it's Ace Attorney, come on. They always need to put in the corner themes, or and the objection themes. This one is the... Uh... I always love this one. This is the... Uh... The courtroom, uh, not, yeah, cross-examination, I guess, uh, the cross-examination theme. I always love it, and it's good to hear it that, like, I'm not playing the game myself, but just to hear it alone, it, it's still worthwhile, I love it. Next up, uh, this is the sadness theme. Personally, I don't like sadness themes in the Ace Attorney series. I know that sounds bad, but probably my favorite 
uh, sadness themes come from Apollo Justice anyway. This is still pretty good. I like it. The next one is... <laughs> Samurai. Steel Samurai. Um, again, one of my favorite themes from the game. And one of the classic themes that always seems to come back every single time. But it's so good. Um, and I love that little... I don't know what that instrument is. It's, um, it's a classic Asian instrument. I still don't know. <laughs> next up... That's the standard theme when you're talking to someone, I guess. Um, it's also Maya's theme when you're talking to her in the office. So I guess it's that, but there's some other characters, like cheerful characters that have that theme. Um, so next up. So we're getting into the, the three... Well, we're getting into three, like, tracks from Rise from the Ashes. So this one is um, the Marshall theme, I guess. Um, it's a very, bit of a western cowboy thing. It kind of doesn't fit here. I don't understand. Like, out of all the things that they decided to put on here, they decided to put that on for Ace Attorney, um, when there's plenty more that you can put on here, which we'll be talking about in a sec. So, next up after that... I forgot this one. I'm going to guess this is the credits theme. Yeah, this is the credits theme. I don't really find that familiar. But it's it's quite nice hearing it this time. Let's take a listen to that after. And of course they needed to put the Blue Badgers theme in here. But just so freaking troll. Like just imagine listening to this in the car and then suddenly this comes up and I'll like have you played the game? All they're gonna think about is that blue badger and the, the fact that there's a murder surrounding it and those freaking eyes, man. But, um. Yeah, they decided to put that on here. So, overall, it's not that bad. Um, for limited edition, it's good that they included the soundtrack. Although, only major complaint is when I gave a perfect in the original review, I shouldn't have given it a perfect. So, you should have considered things a lot more. A lot, lot more. This track kind of lowers the score just by a little bit like 10-9 um just for the simple fact that the tracks that they decided to choose were kind of random like as i said why did they choose to use marshall's theme instead of something like i don't know turnabout sisters like the, the classic freaking theme between me and maya the, the one that's always freaking played and the one that's like so heartwarming they did they didn't decide to put that on but they decided to put on blue badger's theme really and besides that there's so many other tracks they could have experimented with um where is it uh the tracks that they used uh when miles was thinking back to the dl6 case they could have used detective gumshoe's theme and that's one of my favorite themes from the game um besides obviously some of the other ones that we covered here but they could have went all out and put like a lot of the soundtracks in I mean, it doesn't even take all that much work. Be, I mean, the biggest thing to take out of this one, like, this is the biggest piece of work to do, is to actually make sure that, like, the artist, the album, genre, everything like that is fine. But, um... But, yeah, there's just so little. And when I say bang for your buck, you're, you're not really getting it here because you're not, you're not getting a whole bunch of the soundtracks. I mean, overall, I think in the, in the entire, like, first Ace Attorney game, there's probably, like, 40 tracks. And you're only getting, like, uh, one-tenth of that. So it's kind of bad that they just decided to slap on some of the random themes. And they didn't decide to take into consideration, like, a heck of a lot of the ones that are really memorable and popular amongst the crowd. I know that, um, you know, Detective Gumshoe's theme and stuff, it's probably debatable whether it should be on this because it's not that popular. But Turnabout Sisters? Really? You didn't put it on here? So, um, you know, it it honestly, it just kind of brings down the limited edition score overall. Um, so this is going to be the, the follow-up, I guess. So overall, in the original review, I gave it a 10 out of 10. Now it's kind of dropped down to 9 out of 10. Um, as for the other stuff, I've played with them, or I've used them, and they're really, really good. Like, the game itself is really good. Um, the stylus is really good of Phoenix. It, it fits comfortably, but... You know, it, it can't fit into the actual 3DS, which is always a thing I've found annoying. 
with all of these like different styluses that you can get. Um, and yeah, everything else has been going really good with the whole limited edition thing. The manga I read online, and it's actually really funny and really good. But um, the manga itself I can read in Japanese. So um, overall, yeah, it's a nine out of ten. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching. Hopefully, I can come back with another video real soon. And goodbye.